Hello, so I'm solving this exercise, the question one of the midterm of the year 2018-19. First question, so uh, they are asking us to write a program that asks a customer to enter the number of consumed electri electricity unit. And then the program should calculate and print the electricity bill without VAT and then print it again with VAT knowing that. So let's repeat, a customer should enter a number, uh, electricity unit, and then we should display two numbers, one without VAT and one without VAT. So if the user, so let's see the, the condition. So for the first uh, 15 consumed units, so for the first 15 ones, the customer pays 0 0.5 per unit. And for the units consumed beyond 50, the customer pays 0 0.5 units. So for example, if you consume 60 units, you will pay for the 50, for the first 50, 0 0.5 dollars for each unit and for the remaining 10 you will pay 0 0.7 and the VAT uh, is equal to 11. So let's go here and start. So the user will enter an integer, consumed unit as an integer. So here we don't have the output in the in the book, it's it's an integer. So int int let's call it x and let's ask the user enter the units and then we do a scan f so in the scan f it's an integer so percentage d address of x so those are the units then we should calculate the bill uh, without vat so let's call it uh, bill without vat so uh, since there's a zero multiplication by 0 0.5 and 0. Uh, 75 so the it could be double or float let's say double uh, for float sorry so let's say float uh, bill not the bill let's see total amount or cable uh, with the, without that so the bill without that so we, we need to check the x so if x is less or equal than 50 it means that he consumed uh, just uh, 50 uh, units so if it's just less than 50 it means that the bill without VAT is equal let's come back to the question so for each unit he will pay 0 0.5 so it's equal x multiple 0 0.5 otherwise if it's greater than 50 so he needs to pay 50, so for the 50, so this is 50 units from the x, multiple 5 plus, we will subtract from x 50 and pay for each unit $75. So this one is equal to 25, so it's the 50 because if he spends more than 50, for the first 50 he will pay 0 0.5 and for the remaining one he will pay 0 0.75. So this is the bill without that so we should print it because they are asking us to print it so print f bill without that so it will be equal percentage dot to float f backslash n and then the bill without that so the bill with that so we should just multiply uh, it by 1.11 so it's the bill the, the amount bill without VAT plus the bill with, with without VAT multiple 0 0.11. So you can either define a new variable. Let's call it uh, with VAT. I don't like to define it, but okay, I will define it and then will I will erase it. So with VAT, not VAT, <laughs> with VAT is equal to bill. So it's equal to the amount plus 11% on this amount which is equal to 0 0.11 or we can directly print off let's copy this that's easier so bill with that is equal to this one multiple 1.11 because this one is equal to 1.11 so I will remove this and try to run this program with the uh, what was uh, available in the book so we'll enter one for nine so the 
uh, amount without VAT is equal to 99.25, which is right, and the amount with VAT is equal to 110.17, which is right also. So this is for this exercise. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to drop me a message and I will answer you back. And again, thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the bell icon to receive the notifications. And thank you.